What's up guys, this is Kevin Walker with Kegel Investments and right now I am super excited to be out front of 6513 North 61st Drive with my friends Jose and Lisa Rodriguez Hi guys. who bought this, rehabbed it in 90 days and sold in how long guys? Uh, it was approximately 48 hours. Super, super awesome. So if we want to go inside and have you guys show off the finished product, lead the way. Come on guys. Awesome guys, now that we're inside, out of the heat, let's take a second and how did you guys find this property? Tell us about the process. Um, we actually found it on the Keekly app. Um, very, very useful. Um, it has all of the information that we were looking for. It gave us the exact location of where the property was at. It was awesome. right here and we just decided to swing by and take a look at it. So cool. Was this the first property that you guys tried to purchase from us? Um, Personally, I'll let my wife. With our, yeah. with our company, yes, it actually was. We work with a few investors that we have helped in the past, but with Falcon Homes, it is our first uh, purchase. How did you feel about the before? And then we're going to see the after in a second. Well, we bought this house tenant occupied, not like legal tenants. It was full of <laughs> homeless people that found a home. Yeah. Um, and I mean, curb appeal wise, it was just very, very. just a few moments. Now we're gonna walk through and show you the finished product. So here we have the kitchen. We decided to go with very neutral, um, really open. Uh, we think that um, white cabinets and white countertops do not go out of style. So this is what we chose. We didn't choose, we didn't choose anything bold just because of the area. Appliances are gonna be installed prior to closing. Awesome. Only reason we do that is just simply to kind of diminish our risk. Um, we don't want someone kind of snooping through the windows and then just railing in because they see the appliances. So it was just safety in there. But we put brand new stainless steel appliances here for the new buyers, um, give them pretty much a brand new home. That's awesome. And you guys said, so you sold it in 48 hours. Yes. Now, what's the closing time? And how soon does that come down for us? Uh, we close on July 11th, so it's a 30 day close. That's still super awesome. Yeah. So super quick, and I mean, you guys are gonna see more as we walk through why this sold in just a matter of 48 hours. So awesome. I, I think another thing to point out that we're in the kitchen, um, we didn't modify the layout too much. Um, we just did some minor adjustments. We converted this from a three bedroom, two bath to a four bedroom, two bath. Yeah. Um, just took in a little bit of space in the kitchen. I don't feel like we compromised much of the area. Um, but one of the main things that you'll never see is that there was no insulation in this house. Um, and so we literally ripped this down almost to the, to the stud. <laughs> we re-insulated everything. We had a guy come in and redo all the texture in the entire house. And just, we're literally giving someone a brand new house. And if you come over this way, this bedroom actually was not here. It was initially a three bedroom, two bath. Um, in order to maximize our ARV, we actually went ahead and added a bedroom and it's right in here. And it was actually part of the kitchen. So in the bathroom, we just kept it nice and clean, super open. Um, use the same countertops as the kitchen. Obviously, we don't want to have extra expenses with different type of granite slabs. Um, nice and white, kept the same theme as the kitchen, just a different type of, type of tile. Um, and just a small band to tie everything together. So brand new toilet, brand new lighting, pretty much brand new everything in here. This house had a laundry room on the exterior. We wanted to give it more functionality, um, given that obviously you want to maximize your return on your investment. Absolutely. We decided to move the uh, laundry inside. This used to be like a small closet that used to like Old garbage. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, the furnace too. Yeah, there was a furnace and then it was split and then it had like an extra space for the master bedroom. We just decided to convert this into the interior uh, laundry room. So that's pretty nice there as well. Moving into the master bedroom, all the flooring, new carpet. Um, the master bathroom is right over here. Same style as the other one. It's just a walk 
walk-in shower that you're going to have here, but it's the same uh, tile and everything that it was used in the other bathroom as well. So, let's go check out the outside. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely blown away so far. This is absolutely amazing. And I'll let you guys lead the way. Awesome. Oh, this was also not here. Um, we made sure to give the house a little bit more functionality. We made a uh, door to the exterior, um, but let's check it out. Now that we're out back, uh, do you guys want to take a moment and kind of walk through the, the things you did out back here? Yeah, so um, one of the main things we did was just clean it up back here. There was just uh, an abandoned car um, mm -hmm. that was back here. Um, there was just trash all over the place. Um, also, it was vandalized, so people had just piled up a bunch of just garbage that they had hauled in from other places. Um, but yeah, we just cleaned it up. Um, we're also gonna make sure we trim all the weeds and stuff three days prior to the close of escrow. Um, but one of the main things is we added the stucco to the entire outside of the house. Um, it had some really weird, outdated siding. Yeah. So we just figured that stucco was the way to go on this. We didn't want to kind of gamble on that. So, um, but yeah, other than that, it has really nice uh, mature landscape back here with, with the trees. Um, we just feel like it's, it's nice and, and shady. Um, and hopefully someone really, really enjoys this place. I think they will. Yeah. And did you guys do this work yourself? Did you hire out contractors, subs? So we, the majority of it was subcontracted. Okay. Um, I mean, being that we're in other, we, we have expertise in other parts of the business. Yeah. Um, we can only help out when it's demo or the last finishing touches. Okay. Um, when it came to um, the flooring and things like that, we have a small group of guys that uh, we work with and we've worked with in the past. Um, and they're basically doing all the, the technical stuff. When it comes to just really specific stuff, like the AC, we had a guy come out and install okay. a brand new AC unit. Um, the uh, drywall was hung by our guys. The insulation was put in by our guys, but the actual finish work, the taping and the texturing was uh, somebody else that we subcontracted. Awesome. Yeah. Well, backyard is amazing, and I really think a family is gonna enjoy this, guys. Let's uh, let's head back into that that new AC and talk over some numbers. Awesome. How did you guys fund this? Was it hard money? Was it cash? Yes, so we actually uh, partnered up with Hard Money Lender. Awesome. Um, giving fifteen percent down, um, and then he financed the eighty five percent. Very cool. Awesome, guys. Uh, what what did it look like for holding costs, rehab costs? Holding costs were into it for about forty five hundred. Okay. Um, that includes utilities, mortgage payments, things like that. Awesome. Um, rehab, we're into it for about 35. Okay. Um, and um, like listing costs, we're currently under contract, so including concessions, uh, realtor fees, um, home warranties, things like that. Um, all in all, we're into it about 17000 for that. Awesome. Uh, and then total profit-wise, uh, we're looking to make just a little bit over $26,000. Awesome job, guys. That is really, really cool. Uh, what, would, what would you say to people that are watching this right now, where they're maybe thinking, hey, should I get into fixing and flipping homes? What would be your personal thoughts towards that? I'll let my wife start with this one. Okay, I would say just do it. Honestly, we, we got passionate about real estate in like 2014. Um, even though we've done other things here and there, it all has consisted of real estate, uh, mortgage loans, anything that will get us closer to our goals. And this year, we just decided to to go for it. Yeah, um, just to piggyback off of her, I would just say just do it. Um, even, I, I don't mean just fully dive into it and cold turkey, just like dump all the, like, the last few dollars that you have into buying a house. Yeah. But on that same note, I would say do something every day that's gonna get you closer to that end goal. Over the last couple of years, we've been just surrounding ourselves uh, with people just like yourself that are gonna benefit us in the long run, um, creating relationships and nourishing those relationships, educating ourselves, um, and more than anything, we've acted on it. You know, we haven't just done the analysis paralysis where you read, 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 and then you're just like, all right, well, what if this is that? So I think that's one of the most important things is educate yourself, surround yourself by people who are uh, in the industry, ask a ton of questions, but at the end of the day, you have to act on it, even if it's not jumping into it right away. Do something that's going to get you closer there, whether it, for us, it took us four years, yeah. five years to actually fully get into it. But over the, the last five years, we've been doing things that have educated us and gotten us to the position where we're at now. Absolutely love it. If, if you had to pick just three things off the top of your head that would help someone get into fixing and flipping, 
What would you say the bit, three biggest things are that are going to help them with their due diligence in making the right decision to purchase? I would say know your numbers. Okay. Um, don't just think it's going to take $30,000 to renovate a house. Like, take into account building costs, selling costs. Um, have an help. In the event that I can't sell it for this, making sure that you're at least breaking even. Um, it doesn't always pan out the way you think. Like I mentioned here, we got lucky that the only problem that was unseen was the insulation. Everything else was accounted for, but that's still an extra $3,000 that were unaccounted for. You know, that we could have potentially saved had we had seen it up front. Um, and I think the last piece of advice that I would give somebody would be, um, Really do your due diligence with comps, you know, like know what type of remodel you're doing if you are going to end up remodeling and know if you can blend in with the comps or mm -hmm. if you're going to live, uh, like try to make your own comp. So awesome. kind of know, know your, your markets and know your area. Very cool. I love that, guys. Real quick before we sign off. So I have something that from Kegley Investments and all of us at Kegley that we wanted to give you. People have actually been harassing our partners for these, and if you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> we are going to bestow upon you a very limited edition Kegley hat. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I, need, I just need a shirt guys. to complete the, uh, the collection. Thank we will you guys. get you that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. We couldn't do any of this without you guys, and we're, we're truly blessed to have this relationship going with you guys. Likewise. Well, this is Kim Walker with Kegel Investments, and let's help you get your next investment. Catch you on the next video.